Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farinet channel and in today's video I've got some exciting news to show you guys. There's been an update on LOLMINER 1.66 and it's given us an absolutely huge improvement in our hash rate. Okay guys, so here it is, the LOLMINER 1.66. So let's have a read over the changes and updates that they've added on there. So added support for Nexa on Nvidia Pascal and newer generations of GPUs using the Algo Nexa to mine it. The fee is 2% and note the pools protocol supported matches to the one introduced by our plant and that said the pools tested by this version are in alphabetical order so the pools that are there that said this list is not exclusive every other pool following this protocol should work now here's the main part on here guys so this code is joint work with ledoc from bz minor which i did a video on previously and it is refined version which approximately 20 percent higher speeds than the code that was released in the bz minor v13 0.1 that was released an updated version of bz minor featuring the improvement of this kernel as well as the same fee level will be released soon as well so what we're going to need to do to go ahead and get this installed guys is go ahead and click on the lol minor v1.66 for the the Windows version if you're currently on Windows. Okay, so this may come up and do the exact same thing for yourselves, guys. So I kept trying to download and it just kept popping up saying failed virus detected. So um, all you need to do is go ahead and press keep. And if this doesn't work when you go ahead and press keep, then make sure that you go through your Windows um, defender and actually go ahead and mark that as not a virus. Okay, so once downloaded, just go ahead and click on this and open this up as a file. Now all you need to do is simply just drag and drop this to your desktop. Now for myself, I already do have these files, so I'm just going to go ahead and click X on that for us. And let's go ahead and open up the folder. So as you can see guys, if I open this up, there is already a bat file in there for us to say Nexa, and there's one there with an overclock as well. So just go ahead and edit this and make sure you go ahead and pop in the pool of your own choice and then pop in your wallet as well. Now, one thing as well that I'd recommend, guys, is I've gone ahead and put in some extra perimeters in there for my core clock and memory clock and power limit as well. And I would definitely recommend doing this if you're going to be using Nexa because it is a, an algorithm that can use quite a lot of power and it can create and generate quite a lot of heat. So make sure that you are, you know, overclocking and, and undervolting uh, at the exact same and the correct rates and make sure you are careful with it but just to give you guys a bit of a guidance uh, I have been on to hashrate.no and I went over here and I copy and pasted these in here and then I tested out to see uh, whether I had a bit of a hash rate increase or whether it was you know, if there was any issues um, and it has been really really stable so um, like I said always take the options that are here you know to a, with a little bit of a pinch of salt make sure you work off them for yourself because your gpu may have different um you know heating and different cooling and also different pads and things like that so make sure that you are you know setting your overclocks very very carefully and making sure that you do it the best you can do now for myself as i as you can see here there's a high overclock and there is a medium overclock so there is a complete different option what i could have gone for here um but the only difference was that the core clock uh, would go a little bit more higher and personally i, I am actually happy uh, with that for that to be the case also as well I've got the video idea from Giuliano Kaju uh, I really do appreciate this guy he has gone ahead before and give me a shout out on his channel so I really do appreciate that okay so let's go ahead and actually have a little look over at what happened when I did uh, switch over to lol minor 1.66 so as you can see here I'm being running on a 3090 as you can see this is the 1.66 version currently running at the moment and with this with me currently uh, recording at the same time I'm getting around about 87 uh, mega hash uh, but give or take I should have around about 90 to 100 and something so as you can see here uh, for days and I just want to make sure that you know that you guys are aware of this. For days, okay, I've been mining, uh, you know, my 3090 for you know, around about 37, 40 mega hash. No, nothing, you know, I was not aware, um, you know, that it was, you know, mining at a higher rate. Um, and then with the new hash rate uh, from the lol miner, it put my uh, GPU uh, exactly where it's supposed to be, really. And it's, you know, working extremely hard and it's making more, you know, a lot more Nexa than it was before. So I'm going to definitely make sure that I'm going to keep this on and switch this over on to uh, another rig that I have as well. Okay, guys, so I'll leave links for everything for you guys in the description below. Make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And also, guys, if you are new around here or you've been mining on LOL, Miner or Nexa or anything like that, definitely go down ahead in the comment section and let me know if this is something that you was already aware of uh, or if this is something new for you. Um, and I'll I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.